Hey guys, Trina here, back with another sketchbook project. Today we're going to continue on with our mark making series. Here you can see I'm dividing up my sketchbook pad into four sections. Um, we're going to be using Tombow markers, these Marabou crayons, um, Marteza white paint, this permanent black marker, and the Higgins India ink marker and also my acrylic paint that I made out of chalk. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link up above for you to check that out. This paint I have to stir up a little bit because it tends to sink. And we're gonna start this one just a little different today. We're gonna to start with adding acrylic washes instead of my normal um, black marker and pencil markings. Just something a little different to start today. Um, I like my homemade paint. It was really fun to make. Um, here you can see I've added in a bunch of strokes. And now I'm going to add in the Tombow marker, just making some marks here. And adding in some blue. I like using the side of these markers because it makes a really cool um, stroke. Now we're adding in some gray marabou crayon to add a different color into the marks. I love these big fat marks that you can smear out with your fingers. It's super fun. And now I'm using the this turquoise blue color. Um, to add in a bit of coolness into all of this warmth that we have going on. Uh, I've been very inspired by autumn colors lately. Um, here in Kansas, the colors are just amazing right now. Um, and we've got a little burnt rust color. We're gonna add in. Already I can tell a difference in my mark making from yesterday to today. It's, also, it's very free. Um, I don't usually do a lot of thinking when I make these. I just sort of make whatever I feel like making. Um, and it usually comes together pretty quickly. Uh, I don't spend more than 20 minutes on these sketches. So they're really fun, creative releases when you need a release. And sometimes, you know, you just have to scribble. Here I'm using my catalyst wedge to make some scratching back into the pieces adding in some white using my catalyst wedge again I like how you can add the paint and then use the catalyst wedge to make shapes within that paint color um, that's really intriguing to me I like adding this white paint even to the markers and you can see that the mirror crowns are Picking up a little bit of that white and creating not such a bright white, but more of a, you know, bringing in the color into it and moving it down the tint a little bit. Scratching back in with the Catalyst Wedge. If you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I love, this is my newfound favorite toy. And now I'm gonna take the Permanent Marker Wedge I just primed. And I'm drawing in some lines. Um, I like a bold black line. I think it just really adds to the whole idea of the photo. Oh, sorry, painting. <laughs> uh, this marker is fastly becoming a fave. I mean, I love how you can make these just fluid whole arm gesture marks. Here I'm adding in a little bit of white Mirabou crayon. which I haven't really used before. I don't really paint white on white, but I kind of like the way that it's blending together and the sort of wispiness that it adds to the pieces. And now I'm just taking my pencil and going back in and making more marks on top, um, which I think adds a little bit more texture and depth. And we're peeling off the tape. Thank you for watching my video. As always, please like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.